Hi friends, so I hope that you really enjoyed um, hearing stories by Patricia Polacco and um, reading about her real life, watching her videos where she's being interviewed, um, and also hearing her voice when she reads her own stories aloud. Um, so one of the reasons that we started with Patricia Polacco is because she often tells stories about her childhood. And a lot of the things that she tells about really did happen to her. Um, they have her voice. They happened in her real life. And um, not only that, they're, they're able to be relatable to children of all different backgrounds. So maybe you didn't have um, a Jewish grandmother named Babushka, but you probably had a grandma and maybe she was kind to you and sweet to you and you have really special memories of her and maybe you went and visited her in the city, on a farm, whatever the case may be. But Patricia writes about, most of the time, her own stories growing up. And um, she also illustrates them beautifully with her drawings and paintings. So that's why I chose Pol Patricia Polacco to start with. And your extension assignment is to draw a picture or write a story of something that really did happen to you. Um, that is something biographical, autobiographical, means it comes from yourself. Um, most of her stories are autobiographical or semi autobiographical. So parts of it may have come from her own life. Um, most of it did. So for example, I was trying to think of a story that um, I could write about. So this is a funny one. So years and years ago when my son Max, who is now 11, was little, and I don't remember how old he was, but he was little, and he is almost four years younger than my daughter Maya. So we went to Universal Studios in Florida and Maya was so excited to go on everything. And Max wanted to feel big, like his big sister. So we went to, I think it's called Dr. Doom's Free Fall. It is a very high, very scary, very not something Miss Randy would ever go on, um, but something that kids like. Uh, so we went over to the ride and they went up and they got ready to go on and Max was too short. Okay. I am sure that if you think about it, there are times where you feel too young, too short, to something and you can't do what your older friend, your taller friend, your older brother, your older sister. So you can relate, I'm sure. And Max was not happy. He was crying and screaming, why am I so little? Why does Maya get to do everything? And he was devastated. And so one of the workers went over to him and said, Max, I see that you're very upset. I have a certificate for you. And the certificate said that the next time we come back to Universal Studios, who knows when that was going to be, if he brought that certificate when he was finally tall enough, he didn't have to wait in the line. He could go right up and he could get on the ride. So even though he was very upset, he was glad that he got that special piece of paper and I tucked it away. So when we came home from vacation, I unpacked everything and I put that certificate in a drawer and we let it be. Years passed and we decided we were going back to Universal Studios. So I found that certificate and I wrapped it up and I put it in the luggage. I put it in my backpack to take to Florida. So we go to Universal and Max and Maya are going on the rides and we get to Dr. Doom's free fall. And I pulled out the certificate and I said, Max, I kept this and you are finally tall enough. So he took that certificate. He marched his way up to the front of the line, handed the man the certificate and said, I have waited and I am big enough. I can go on the ride. And he was, he, he puffed himself up. He was so proud and he got on that ride and had a great time. So that is a story that I could write down just like Patricia Polacco and I told it to you and I could draw a picture of him in front of Dr. Dooms marching up to the front of the line holding that certificate, right? And 
that's a story that I could share. So I would love to see what stories you come up with. So have your grown up email it to me um, and I can't wait to see it. And then we'll share some of them for next week before we get on to author number two, Robert Munch. See you later.